You guys, MidJourney just released an amazing new feature that's going to blow your mind. Let's check it out. All right, so MidJourney just announced as of yesterday, you guys, that they are now introducing this incredible new feature, which they've talked about, is Describe. And it's basically image to text. And so what it does is you can upload an image using slash describe. And what MidJourney will do is actually give you four different prompts doing the best MidJourney can to analyze your image and give you an actual prompt for that image to recreate it. Now this is incredible and this completely changes the game and I'm going to show you why. So as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory but let's check it out and see the power of what slash describe can do. All right so here I have made my own discord server in which I've uploaded the mid journey bot so this is the channel in which I'm going to do all the describe stuff. So let's go ahead and hit slash describe okay now it's prompting us to upload an image all right so i've uploaded this random image that i had in my downloads uh it's basically a piece of photography of a landscape it looks like or some dirt road into the woods anyway we're gonna see what midgerty can do now as i hit enter and it's thinking about it i don't exactly know how it works but it basically interprets the image and looks at everything uh, anyway here are the four proms a dirt road that is surrounded by treed treed in the middle in the style of nikon d85 green cottage punk hdr wow okay a dirt road in nature with green trees and trees i'm not sure why it's repeating some things in the style of nikon d850 cottage punk midwest gothic highly polished services I'm assuming that's a photographer or something, VX, okay. A dirt road with trees on it runs through the park. Uh, dirt road frame by tree. Okay, well, let's go ahead. This is the best part here, guys. Let's go ahead and actually try these four prompts to see what we get. Now, as you do this, it'll say, imagine this. It's going to go ahead and use the prompt, uh, but it's also going to go ahead and make sure that it says, hey, this form will be submitted to Midjourney Bot. Do not share passwords or other sense of information. Now we're not, so go ahead and hit submit. And I'm gonna do the same thing to all four prompts because I wanna see which prompt is gonna be the best. Now this, in my opinion, is the most impressive part. You guys ready? Is the fact that it not only looks at the image and what's in it, but it actually looks at the aspect ratio. So you could upload a panoramic picture and Midjourney will will understand that and, and say like AR 19 by two or, or whatever, whatever it might be, if that's the correct aspect ratio. But you guys get the point. Uh, so that's extremely impressive. Did I do all four? Uh, no, I need to. So we'll do all four, okay? And obviously, uh, if you're familiar at all with Midjourney, it can only do three commands at a time. And actually, these look pretty decent already as they're uploading or as they're uh, being generated. Now, it's not gonna be a one-to-one -one replicate of this exact image, but it's gonna be Midjourney's interpretation of what this image looks like. So one thing I picked up on here is that it looks like in this image, there's some definitely... Uh, there's a lot of high contrast and it's very punchy. And I think Midjourney picked up on that because here are some of the results and they almost look like dreamlike where it's not as sharp as I would prefer. Um, obviously, you know, when you get the prompts, you could add to them if you'd like. Um, now, as far as like the prompts to what the actual image was that it pulled from looks amazing. Now, compared to the actual one-to-one -one of the fact that Midjourney looked at this and was like, oh, okay, I'll make you what you want and actually created these from that, that's pretty impressive despite a few of the filters I think that are on here that I'm not exactly crazy about. Um, now, as you can see here that just by scrolling through and looking at all four of these, they're all very similar. Some are more forested than, the, than others, but it's basically the same results. And what's cool about this is now we can actually get top tier prompts from Midjourney itself instead of having to play a lot of guesswork to try and get whatever it is we're looking for. So that means we can go on the internet and look for portrait shots or look for or look for specific things that we really want to create an image of and just essentially reverse image it. Because honestly, if this was just me, I would probably type in a dirt road going through the forest or something. And I don't think my prompt would have uh, been near as good as this one. So let's try a different one. Okay, guys, so here is the next one I'm going to experiment with. This is actually the movie trailer poster, I think, uh, for a movie called Underwater. And we're going to see if it could take an image that's dark, doesn't have a whole lot of details, is kind of vague in terms of what I would imagine the AI to analyze and see what it can give us. And wow, would you look at that? It actually understood what it was. Underwater, the new movie, poster and cover art in the style of dark cyan and green, eerily realistic, unicorn core, CryEngine, Richard Serra, again, another artist I'm not familiar with, hyper-realistic hyper water, bold lettering, and look at that, it gives us the exact 
aspect ratio underwater 2019 20 okay let's uh let's try it out guys let's see what this can produce this is so impressive the fact that it can actually look at an image and understand what it is is just so incredibly impressive to me i am just blown away and of course being able to produce those results in which of what we're looking for is also just amazing. This basically means that we can now get rid of a ton of guesswork. We don't need to do that anymore. We can actually find perfect, near perfect things that we want. All right, some of the results are now in and we're definitely getting some interesting things here. Uh, this, I'm not even exactly sure what it is. The point is, Eddie Murphy, why is he in the poster? Uh, the, <laughs> The point is, is that Mid Journey can now take what you're giving it and create something totally new. What I think is especially cool about this is that these posters, while they are similar to this, they actually look completely different. Uh, like this one is more almost artistic and stylish. There's definitely some stuff going on, which I wouldn't exactly go for. Uh, like here, I think it's cool that there's already like styled fonts in here, even though it's just jarbled mess because as of now in April of 2023, Mid Journey is not at the point yet where it can do text, but I'm sure that'll be this year. And here, these are probably more, more of an accurate capture to the style of what the poster was. But again, you know, text is not there. I don't even know what some of this stuff is, but still a very interesting interpretation. We go down to here. I think this is probably the best one so far, or even this. So if you're gonna take this, oh, that's actually really cool. This is actually, I think, my favorite one. If you were to try and use these, what I would do is I would use these as a, a template. So I would probably throw this in Photoshop and I would probably actually put whatever text you want over this, but keep the same style. I think that's actually amazing that I was able to do this. Uh, again, you know, this, this cover right here is really hard to kind of pick out details because we have the text here. There's a bunch of teeth, but it's really dark and vague, especially for the AI, but it still understood the concept of a movie poster and, and put together something pretty incredible here. Now this, I'm not exactly sure why it is what it is, but Eddie Murray in the underwater movie in the style of Lovecraftian movie poster Unreal Engine 5. I'm not really sure what's going on in these, but I think it's a very interesting uh, result. But again, guys, that's why it gives you four different prompts to play with. And like I said, you can take these and add to them and you can edit them you could do things to them so that's that's what's really incredible let's try one more and so so far we've done uh photography we've done a movie poster let's do something really abstract okay well not exactly uh abstract but let's go ahead and i'm going to describe and i found an old portrait like an 1800s early 1900s portrait of some guy and let's see what it does so here we got this guy and we're going to have it go ahead and work its mid-journey magic for us all right the results are in cowboy 1910 to 1920 by john lennon photo by w in the style of hyper realistic wildlife portraits um cool all right let's go ahead and try some of these and we'll see what we get okay we're gonna hit submit and hit number two submit number three all right so as these images are generating i think one of my favorite things so far about this feature is not only is the aspect ratio like on point but specifically it'll pull stuff in for a prompt that like you wouldn't even think about. You wouldn't even think to even include that. Like for me, I would probably just guess to have someone like, you know, an old 1900s portrait, maybe a faded image, you know, a man with a mustache and an old safari style uniform and hat. I mean, I couldn't think of much, but these things are so specific. And it's not just that they're specific, but these are the way that Mid Journey would interpret the image. Does that make sense? So you're basically now feeding Mid Journey its own language because that's the way it interprets the image. So now it's going to give you exactly what you're looking for. All right, we got our first results and these don't look half bad, you guys. I mean, this is pretty impressive that I was able to take that and create something like this. This was the cowboy from 1910 to 1920. All right, and we got this one, George Dor Stanley by James Horowitz, 1917 in the style of cowboy imagery. Very interesting. His, uh, his gun, I'm not sure what's going on there, but some of these are just fantastic. That one's pretty cool, although his camera looks a little bit higher tech than what it's for. Very neat, very neat. Here's this one. Now these 
I think this one's probably my favorite. Although again, the gun looks a little wonky, but it really does capture the essence and that one too. Uh, but again, the the gun's going through his body, but it really these really capture the essence of like an old old style photograph. So that's that's so cool. And last but not least, we have Alfie Johnson, Wyoming, 1921, in the field, oil in the style of Eugene Adget. Chuck Loose, some other things that I'm not sure what they do. What I'd highly recommend you do is find an image that you would like to kind of pull apart. And definitely you want to make sure that you generate each of these four prompts because as you see with the past three, they are giving you pretty different results. Even though it's kind of in the same vein, they are different. And in my opinion, I think prompt three is probably closer to what I would be originally looking for. And, you know, you get some gems in here. I think, like, that one's cool besides the gun. Uh, these ones are really good. Um, these ones are okay. It's not that they're bad. It's just in terms of, like, the style of the original image, I think these suit it much better. So you really just want to try and experiment. And, of course, what you can then do is once you have a prompt that really, you really like from the original image, you can start adding to this, changing it around, uh, adding in keywords, doing more things. So that's just a taste of of the new feature from Midjourney called Describe. And this feature is live right now today. You can hop on Midjourney on Discord or on the website, I think, and you can go ahead and play around with it. It is live for everyone. You just go to your uh, DMs or you go to the Midjourney Discord and you just type in slash describe and you can start playing with it right now. So I hope you guys have had a lot of fun. I hope you guys use this feature a lot and create a bunch of cool stuff. And more importantly, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial video, be sure to go ahead and slap that that subscribe and like button for more content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.